Hello again, YouTube, and welcome to a very festive edition of the Weekly NFL Picks presented by the World of Football. We are going to be predicting week 16 of the NFL season. Um, very excited, and of course, with Christmas right around the corner, we figured, hey, why not look a little festive, except for Aaron, who just decided to sit in front of a fireplace. Dad decided to put on his uh, lion's hat. Uh, but anyway, I am your host, Adam Snow, and as I mentioned, we have my father, the founder of the World of Football, Randy Snow there, and my brother, Aaron, in the middle. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Really good. Very good. All right. And normally, this is the time where we come in uh, spreading Yuletide cheer <coughs> and uh, talking about how everybody did in the previous week. But we have a special, special gift to hand out this week. Dad, if you could please turn to your right and behind your cork board, there is a special Christmas gift for you that I had left behind. Um, you have to go behind the board. Yep. We'll wait for you. Go behind. Wherever you're sitting, turn to your right. It is behind you on your right. Yes. If you could please uh, retrieve not, this gift. Not stage right. Yeah, yeah. Take your headphones off. We can wait. This is great internet right here, ladies and gentlemen. I made sure to stash this away uh, before I left uh, recording the podcast today. Um, yeah, put your headphones back in so we can all hear you. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, so a lot of thought and care was put into this gift, Dad. So if you could please open it up for the world to see. Oh, my gosh. Again, this is great internetting. Can you be any more swift with that opening? Oh, dropping everything out of frame. At this. Oh, get, that get rid it? of that. That doesn't, that doesn't matter. Get rid of it. Show the camera. Show the world what we have oh, bestowed upon you. No. <laughs> have a Mary Merry Swift. Swiftness. Swiftness. Yep, there you go. Because last week Please. Aaron said... If we get 10 likes on this video, Rainy's going to wear a Taylor Swift shirt next week. 10 likes? I mean, that's manageable. <laughs> no. I say if we no, get no, no, 20 no. likes, I'll get you an ugly <laughs> Christmas sweater with Taylor Swift on it, Randy. <laughs> no, 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 no. That you got to wear. Uh, I got a fireplace, so I have a use for it. There you go. All right, here we go. 20 <laughs> likes. Randy's going to wear a Taylor Swift <laughs> sweater next week. Bye, everybody. I'll, I'll burn it. If we got 10 likes, you'd be wearing that sweater. So if you want to put that on, it'd be greatly appreciated. I thought we should get to 20, but we got 16. Met in the middle. Why don't you throw that on, Dad, while we, <laughs> while we look at the standings for last week. And, um, hey, how about that? Mr. Randy himself went 14 and 2 to lead everybody. How about that? As he's about to rock that Swift Miss sweatshirt. Followed by at 13 and 3, we had B. Lewis, Leonard, and Liz. And then at 12 and 4, we had Aaron, Hawkeye 07, Mike Dolph, 12 and 4, Royce at 12 and 4. And then uh, Kyle Sutherland went 11 and 4 because he didn't get his Thursday night pick in. Cringe didn't get his Thursday night pick in, so he's 10 and 5. And there I am at the bottom with a 10 and 6 record. And uh, as we cut back to camera, here he comes in, the jolly green giant himself, wearing his Merry Swiftness sweater. Oh, congratulations. 14 and 2, and you get a great Christmas sweater. How's it fit? Uh, it actually fits really good. Oh, good. Nice. Good. Glad. So See, Merry I needed Christmas to make sure that for me and Aaron. We were an integrity podcast here, and I said, you're going to wear a Taylor Swift sweatshirt. You needed a Taylor Swift sweatshirt. We got those 10 likes. Next time we'll bump it up. <laughs> yeah, we'll bump it up next time. We'll find something even more gaudy. But we appreciate you playing along and wearing that sweatshirt. And uh, speaking of playing along, let's look at how everybody's done overall this season. We did a little bit of a change to the uh, graphic this week, so bear with me. I might uh, go through an alteration again next week. But, but we kind of divided it into two camps, everybody. Everybody who was here from the beginning on the left side of the screen there and the rest of the field. So obviously we have picked 224 games for those of us who have been here from the beginning and Hawkeye 07 and Mike Dolph there lead the pack with 148 correct guesses to 76 incorrect guesses for 66.07% uh, percentage there. And then B Lewis and Liz uh, next in line there, followed by Aaron, then myself and dad at the bottom of the pack for the, the crew that's been here the whole time. And then uh, in the rest of the field, you have Kyle over there with the best overall percentage 
uh, at 49 and 24. He's got a 67.12% uh, pick rate. And then Royce, Leonard, and Cringe uh, go down in descending order there by their percentages. So um, only the three of us are sitting in the 50% range along with Cringe, guys. So we got to step up our game a little bit. Maybe with the Christmas cheer, maybe Randy with his holiday sweater and being the best picker last week, that'll do him well this week. Any other thoughts? I feel, you can, he's, I, he's speechless. I, I feel silly. I feel silly wearing this thing, but you know, as as Kyle says, it's all about the clicks. <laughs> yes, it is. And uh, why don't you why don't you stand up a little more so I can see the sweatshirt a let little me, better? Yeah, let me. Oh, there yeah, you go. Yeah, it just. Down. Yeah, very good. I like that. Yeah. Randy, that looks so good on you. I hope you rock that the rest of the holidays. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, You'll guys. You'll be looking to see this again. Ad- <laughs> <laughs> I, hope, I hope to get some pictures of you at the Christmas party for this one, for the World of Football Christmas party. Uh, but, no, uh, let's get into the picks, everybody. Um, obviously, it is week 16, and it's going to start Thursday night. But before we get to there, I forgot, Dad. You need to read the disclaimer. How can I forget about your disclaimer? The one other bit you do on this show. Uh, yes. Yeah, so before I do the disclaimer, let me just say I hate you both. Uh, if you plan to use our predictions as a means to justify your own gambling debts or bets, then you, my friend, are an idiot. We don't know what we're talking about, as you can tell by the graphics. And uh, you should never listen to us for any kind of gambling advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. Or fashion advice. Or fashion advice, yes. Yeah, the only thing that bumps me out about yours is that yours doesn't light up like mine does, because I love the fact that mine gets to light up a little bit. Yeah. But, <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, and you can tilt your camera back down, Dad. Get your head level with ours. Uh, we'll have to look at that sweater later uh, before we roll out of here. But, yeah. again, on to Week 16. Thursday night, we'll see the New Orleans Saints travel to Los Angeles to play the Rams. I'll start off with this one, guys. The Rams are a hot team right now. Matthew Stafford's playing at a high level. I expect this team to make the playoffs, and you know I think they're going to get that big W against the Saints. Oh, Randy. that's me next. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see. I'm also taking the Rams. Yes, they're they're a much improved team. Yeah, I I see the Rams winning this one. Man, that Swift uh, sweater really messed with your head today. But I'm taking the Rams too. Yeah, I, I, I can't think straight. All right, then we got a doubleheader on Saturday, starting with the Cincinnati Bengals traveling to Pittsburgh to play the Steelers. Dad, you get this one to start. I'm going with the Bengals in this one. I I don't know what's going on with the Steelers, but they are not the same team that they've been over the years. Um, Give me the Cincinnati Bengals. Yep, I agree. I don't know if Mason Rudolph helps that offense much, but I mean, Bengals are hotter team, so I'll stick with them. Yep, uh, make it a second sweep. Give me the Bengals to take this one. Uh, I trust Browning more than I trust Mason Rudolph. All right, the Buffalo Bills will travel to Los Angeles to play the Chargers on Saturday. Aaron, who do you got this one? Next one. Yep, give me the Bills. Uh, they're they're getting hot too, right at the right time. Uh, another sweep. I'm taking the Bills. All right, then on Christmas Eve, we got a few games. The Indianapolis Colts will travel to Atlanta to play the Falcons. I'll take this one. Atlanta broke my heart last week. I think they broke everybody's heart because they lost to the lowly Panthers. But there's just something about this Colts team and Gardner Minshew leading the way that makes me feel like they're going to get the victory on the road. That's back I to agree. you. I I'm going. I'm going with the Indianapolis Colts, yes. Yep, make it a sweep. Part of me wants to pick the Falcons starting a new quarterback, but I just think the Colts are an overall better team than the Falcons because they don't know how to use Bijan Bijan Robinson. He's a stud. They should use him more. He is a stud. He should be used more. All right, Dad, you get to pick the Green Bay Packers and the Carolina Panthers going head-to-head in Carolina. Can the Panthers make it two straight? Boy, you know, I would love to pick the Panthers to win this game. I don't like Green Bay ever, Um, but I'm going to take the safe bet and go with Green Bay in that game. Yep, taking the the Packers too. I mean, Panthers haven't 
I don't think they've even led in any of their games. Both their wins, they came on last second field goal, so they didn't win that game until the last when the clock was all zeros. So Packers got to bounce back. I'm really tempted to pick the Panthers, but if I'm going to keep up with Dad and and you, Aaron, in the standings, <laughs> I probably got to go. I'm going to go with Green Bay. They they're in the playoff hunt still. Uh, I think they'll bounce back from that embarrassing loss to Tampa. Uh, so, yeah, I'll stick with the Packers and make it another sweep. All right, uh, Aaron, you get to start with the Cleveland Browns traveling down to Houston to play the Texans. Now, this should be a tough game. Yeah, I expect us to differ on this one because I initially wanted to pick the Texans at home. But I'm going to stick with the Browns. They had a tough game against the Bears, uh, but I think their confidence is pretty high, and Joe Flacco has injected some life into that team. So, Browns. Yep, I you know what? I kind of want to pick the Texans too, but I'm going to stick with that Cleveland Browns defense and Joe Flacco who went from raking leaves to winning games in the NFL again. I mean, give me the give me the Browns. Well, I cannot make it another sweep. I'm going to use Houston in this game. Okay, all right. I like that. I mean, this is the man who went 14 and 2 last week. That could be a a difference maker right there. All right, I get to start. Oh, great, I get to start this one. The Detroit Lions travel to Minnesota to play the Vikings. Uh, the Lions have an opportunity here to do something we have never witnessed with our eyeballs ever. <laughs> Nobody, not a single person on this earth has ever seen the Detroit Lions win the <laughs> NFC North. Uh, the last time they won the division, it was called the NFC Central. Look it up, children. I'm sure you don't believe me, but it's a real <laughs> thing. Uh, I, I think they're going to do it. I, I'm going to ride that confidence. I don't know how ugly this game's going to get, but I think Detroit goes in. They want it. They want it bad. They're going to go get that division. They're going to be champs of the North. Give me the Detroit Lions to come out of Minnesota with the crown. I agree. Uh, I think Detroit goes in. Uh, hopefully they can play like they did last week against the Broncos. Uh, if they do, this is no contest. Give me Detroit up in Minnesota. Yep. I agree. Make it a sweep. Um, Lions, like you said, have a chance to win the division against last year's division champ at their home. I think that's pretty good motivation. Um, And then, like you said, they haven't won it since the NFC Central, which is kind of funny that they beat the Buccaneers this year. So technically, they beat all the teams from that original (laughs) NFC Central. So Lions win the North this weekend. Good call. Hey, hey, they might as well give the Lions the uh, NFC South. And the AFC West Championship, too, because they swept those two divisions. So let's get three crowns uh, for the Detroit Lions. All right. Uh, The Washington Commanders will travel to New York to play the Jets. Dad, you get to start off with this one for two franchises that just, do they even know how to play football? Well, I don't know. But uh, if anybody's going to come out of this game with a win, I say it's going to be the Commanders. Give me the Washington Commanders. Man. Yeah, I agree with you. I wanted to pick the Jets. I really did. I just I just don't know who the heck they are. <laughs> Commanders, same thing, but I don't know. I feel like there's less turmoil in Washington. True, very true. Less turmoil in Washington, but not so fast, my friends. <laughs> when you get a goose egg one week, I feel like you're going to bounce back the next week. I'm going to take the Jets. I probably shouldn't because they burned me last week. I'm going to take the Jets. It'll be ugly. But I expect them to bounce back and at least make it a 13 to 10 win over the Commanders. All right. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks will travel to Tennessee to play the Titans. Aaron, what do you got in this one? Seahawks, uh, Titans. I had some. I thought they'd pull out that win against the Texans, but couldn't carry that momentum over. So give me the Seahawks to still stay in the playoff hunt. Yep. Seahawks. Between these two teams, they're the only ones playing for anything. So give me the Seahawks to get a win. I agree. Uh, Tennessee has been eliminated from uh, the playoff contention. Of course, in the past, with Detroit, that's when Detroit started winning games is once they were eliminated from the playoffs. So, uh, But I'm still going to go with Seattle. I think they have more to play for. Are you saying the Tennessee Titans are the new Detroit Lions, Randy? No, not, not by a long shot. All right. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars will travel to Tampa to play the Buccaneers. 
I get the pleasure of picking this one first. Now, these are two teams. Uh, the Jaguars have kind of been stumbling, but the Buccaneers are starting to get hot with Baker Mayfield slinging the rock. Give me Tampa Bay to take the win at home over the Jags. I agree. Uh, Tampa Bay is getting better, so give me the Buccaneers. Oh. Yeah, my initial thought was Tampa, but I don't think Baker can back up that performance again, and the Jaguars are in desperation mode, backs against the wall. Doug Peterson's a good head coach. I feel like the Jaguars bounce back, so no sweep here. Fair, yep, I agree. Doug Peterson, he's the he's the the factor for me if whether or not the Jaguars can bounce back or not. Um, all right, the Arizona Cardinals will travel to Chicago to play the Bears. Dad, who do you got? Uh, I have the Bears in this one. Uh, Cardinals, I don't know. Yeah, I'm taking the Bears too. I mean, Cardinals have looked better since Kyler Murray's come back, but I don't know how well Kyler Murray translates to the colder weather in Chicago. And Montez Sweat has been on a tear. Chicago. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Uh, Make it a sweep. Give me the Bears. Uh, They lost just by this much to the you know the Cleveland Browns last week. But they've been playing good ball since they got yeah. sweat. They have been playing good ball. Uh, I think Justin Fields will look like a world beater this week. Uh, so, yep, agree with you guys on the Bears. All right, this should be interesting. Aaron, the Dallas Cowboys travel down to Miami to play the Dolphins. So it's the opposite weather they had up there in the cold fridges of Buffalo. Now they're down in warm Miami. Do the Cowboys still have the road woes? I initially wanted to pick Miami because they are at home, but I think the Cowboys will answer. I don't know. Maybe I'll fall into the trap as every Cowboys fan does every year, but I think the Cowboys go into Miami and pull it off. All right. I am going to take the Miami Dolphins to still get the win. All these teams in the NFC at the top there have gone on these weird stretches of just really bad games. The Niners had that three-game skid. The Eagles are currently in like the four game skid. Uh, And here the Cowboys are getting beat up last week. I think this continues their skid for the season uh, because uh, the next week, guess who they face in prime time that's undefeated in prime time. So I think this is the middle of a losing streak for the Cowboys. I'm sticking with the Finns. Yeah, because this game is in Miami, I'm going to go with the Dolphins. Uh, I think... I think I just want the Dolphins to win more than I want the Cowboys. Oh, to win. we all but, do. Uh, America yeah, wants just, the Dolphins to win. <laughs> I just think uh, an, another road game where they don't have their fans behind them. I, I, I'm going with Miami. I think that should be a fun game, regardless. Even if Miami puts up 72 points oh, against yeah. them, I'm, I'm there yeah, this, for it. This will be a good game, a really good game to watch. All right, uh, then. We have a Sunday night uh, Christmas Eve game between the New England Patriots and the Denver Broncos. This game is in Denver. I get to pick this one. Patriots are eliminated. I could see Bill Belichick playing spoiler a little bit, but after all the drama with Russell Wilson and Sean Payton uh, during their Saturday night game in Detroit, they're still fighting for their playoff lives, even though they're hanging by a thread. They're back home. Give me the Broncos to bounce back. They've been playing solid ball. Detroit really embarrassed them, but I expect them to go back to playing pretty decent ball. So give me the Broncos to win at home. I agree. I'm taking the the Denver Broncos at home. Yeah, give me the Broncos too. Um, oh. I should have feel feel like I should take the Patriots in this one, but you had that look like you were gonna. I, th- I, I really thought, thought you were it. about to. I thought about it. Then I looked down at Addie, and she was like, "Don't take the Patriots." So. <laughs> Probably a good call. If Addie's right, maybe you should listen to her more often. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, the Las Addie Vegas the Raiders. picking dog. <laughs> all right, we have two Christmas uh, – sorry, we have three Christmas Day games. Uh, starting with the 1 o'clock game, the Las Vegas Raiders will travel to Kansas City to play the Chiefs. Dad, you get to pick this one first. Give me the Chiefs. They're at home. They, they need a win. Give me the Chiefs. And uh, – is a certain somebody on your sweater going to be there, you think? Don't know, don't care. <laughs> give me the Chiefs as well. Yeah, make it a swift miss sweep. Uh, give me the Chiefs. 
All right. Uh, the second game, which will be at 4 o'clock Eastern time on Christmas Day, the New York Giants travel to Philadelphia to play the Eagles. This should be very, very interesting. Aaron, does Tommy DeVito uh, bring in the cheese? He does not. The Eagles bounce back. They look like the last couple of weeks, but they'll bounce back. Okay, thank you uh, for my Christmas present of having to put the bleep button in there again. I, I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, they're going to be a lump of coal on Christmas. Oh, sorry, too late. It's done. It's done. Uh, look, I my head is telling me the Eagles should bounce back from this, right? They should be able to bounce back, get back on track. But for the sake of the Detroit Lions getting that number two seed and maybe even getting more. I'm going to take the New York Giants to upset the Philadelphia Eagles in the middle of this losing streak they're on. Tommy DeVito, I trust in you. I don't think so. Fly, Eagles, fly. All right, fair enough. All right, and the final game on Christmas. How fitting, potentially, and according to the World of Football Power Rankings, a matchup of the top two teams in the league. This is essentially a Super Bowl preview for me, in my opinion, as the Baltimore Ravens will travel to San Francisco to play the 49ers. And this should be a heck of a game. I think this will be entertaining as heck. And I think the Baltimore Ravens walk out of Candlestick Park or Levi Stadium, whatever the heck their stadium's called now there in Santa Clara, uh, to get the victory. So go Ravens, and that helps Detroit move up in the – seedings there in the NFC playoff picture. Well, I agree that this is going to be a heck of a game. And I am taking the 49ers in this one to come out with a victory. Yep. I agree with you, Dad. Adam, you're picking with your heart, not your head. You're really hoping to help the Lions out. I just think that Niners defense is really, really good. Um, I feel like Bosa and Young can contain... Lamar Jackson, Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw. Like, they have athletes all over that defense. They'll be able to contain Lamar. We'll see. I'm hey, Maybe it is with my heart, but sometimes you just got to follow it. It is it is the season. And, uh, Dad, how many uh, sweeps did we have this week? It felt like a lot. Out of 16 games, uh, we agreed on 10 games. So 10 sweeps this okay. week. All right. Well, we'll see how that all uh sweeps up later on but that's it guys um happy holidays merry christmas uh happy hanukkah all that whatever you celebrate this time of year uh we hope you and your family have nothing but the best we hope you also get to watch a lot of great football between this pretty good slate of nfl games this weekend and the college bowl games going on right now it should be a lot of fun and uh hopefully your family loves football as much as you do watching this to allow you to watch a lot of those games so uh, Cause I know what I'm going to be doing whenever I get a chance. So uh, dad, uh, anything else between you guys before we uh, send it on out for the holidays? No, I'm good. Nope. I don't have yeah. any more last minute like appeals to the fans this week. So they, gotcha. they came through, they came through last week. All right. I guess this is a good time to tell Dad. Dad, if you look on the left side of the board, there is another gift for you to open up. Jeez, I'm just kidding. Geez. There's not. Just sit down. You're good. There's Got not. Geez. Just sit. Just stay. Got him. <laughs> uh, but no. Oh, uh, why don't you uh, send us out, Randy? You can read the, the closing uh, closing words. And if you want, you can tilt your camera back so we can all see that lovely sweater Aaron and I got you. Thanks, Amazon. <laughs> uh, hi, Taylor. If I'd have known, I would have worn my sunglasses, too. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification on our YouTube channel. We're also on Facebook, X, and Instagram, where the address on all three of those is TWOF Kalamazoo. We have a weekly audio podcast called This Week in the World of Football, which is posted on Tuesdays and is available on all major podcast platforms, as well as Amazon Music, so you can simply ask your Alexa device to play the World of Football podcast. You can also find the full audio version of our podcast on YouTube. So please spread the word, give a like, leave a, com a comment, let us know what you think, and please come be a part of the football conversation. Or the Taylor Swift conversation. Whatever you guys want to do, feel free to bring it. Um, thank you, Dad, for playing along this week. I was really hoping to get you with that gag, and it worked out. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, take a good look because I don't know if you'll ever see this uh, sweatshirt again. Oh, I I'm hope so. The, we got the World of Football Christmas Party coming summer. up. You gotta, you gotta rock that for the Christmas party. We gotta, we also got a family photo we gotta do when we get together. So, oh yeah, you better be rocking it. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, you're four, you're fourteen and two in that since that um, sweater was ordered. So, yep, that's true. You gotta <laughs> rock it now. Well, we'll see. You gotta how rock the, it uh, now. We'll see how the picks turn out next week. I don't think I'm going to it. I swear, again. you're never taking that off. <laughs> so. All right, guys, uh, this was a lot of fun today. A little longer than normal, but uh, hopefully you all enjoyed. Again, however you're celebrating, we wish you a happy holidays. Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, uh, Festivus, whatever it is. Uh, We wish you the best, and uh, see you next week.